of his children who are hungry, lost, lonely, thirsty, and in need. God turns to you for a hand that will reach out, a voice that will encourage, and a heart that will care. A psychologist observed the loneliness kills, saying that by our biological nature, the need for human relationships matter a lot. He suggested that in our need for human relationship, our health may literally wear down. We either love one another or we die. Jesus, understanding our need for someone to care, said, love one another as I have loved you. John chapter 18, verse 34. In Matthew, the chief shepherd reaches out to the sheep, saying, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and fed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invited you in or needing clothes and I clothed you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, I tell you the truth. Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 25 from verse 34 to 40. God wants us to be his hands, voice, and heart. We are to follow our chief shepherd where he leads, but with joy in our hearts because the king leads. With his leading, we cannot be defeated. Neither can we be lost in our way. Wherever we go, regardless of the hardships of the journey, as followers of the chief shepherd and king, our hearts will find joy. Our faces as followers of Jesus Christ, the chief shepherd, must reflect the glory of his kingdom and the joy that comes to us from his victory that has brought us salvation. Our sins are forgiven. We look to the future with hope and promise. We need to reflect in our lives and worship the true victorious nature of the faith in Jesus Christ, the chief shepherd. We need to lighten up. Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, chief shepherd, has won Satan. We are to declare with our king and shepherd, we are not to grieve as if we are still banished from his kingdom. There is joy in our hearts, wrath from the victory of the shepherd and king. Jesus is in us all to lead. He is in those who need help and those who give it. We have a list of amazing hymns of expression of trust in the Lutheran hymnal. From, I am trusting thee, Lord Jesus, trusting thee to guide me. Thou alone shall live every day and art supplying all my need. I am trusting thee for power. Thine can never fail. Words which thou thyself shall give must prevail. Jesus Christ, our chief shepherd, is the king of love whose goodness never fails. You will lack nothing when he is yours. 
and you are his. He will lead your ransomed soul to where there are streams of living waters and where verdant pastures grow. He will feed you with celestial food. Let us pray. Dear Savior, our Chief Shepherd and King, you are neither distant nor removed from us. You are God with us today and in, in eternity. We lack nothing for being yours. Help us as you are ours forever. Might we continue to give you all honor and glory now and forevermore. Amen. Oh, it is well, it is well, it is well with my soul. Oh, it is well, it is well with my soul. Oh, it is well, it is well, it is well with my soul. Oh, it is well, it is well with my soul.